Four doors, two on each side, and two window exits. You see. Heading to the shoot, I put literally lip balm on my cheeks to get a kind of glowy look. And for my hair, I use Lifen. Actually, it's in my purse, so I'll show you later. Hello, friends. I woke up like this. What a glamorous morning. I'm just gonna take a nap. Do you really wanna see how I woke up? With my coffee, face mask, sometimes a little bit moody, and Lifen and my face mask in the morning. I know it's weird but it works so in this video we're gonna talk about how you do your hair at home to get like a natural flowy bouncy hair and what kind of blow dryer i use based on my personal experience in literally less than five minutes there are no products whatsoever so i'll tell you more about it and for all of you that are impatient to sit in a chair for 15 hours does anybody sit for 15 hours i like to exaggerate you know and even when i go to the hairdresser and i just have to sit in that chair for longer than 45 minutes in least amount of time possible which is safe for your hair so you don't need products and all that jazz that you can do it yourself with a simple hairbrush but let's get it started life pen with a traditional one and see which one goes faster because this one older is probably gonna take a few days it's like comparing tesla car to an old car usually always after washing my hair i put on my hands the conditioner this one i didn't it has that in it and i believe that's because of this air purifier so it makes your hair that like silky finish as if you took like the blow dry it's better not to use any hair dryer than the bad one if you notice these light colors over here that's because it has automatic system and it's called NTC control of the temperature in whatever you are. So it automatically controls the temperature and it adjusts automatically the levels of the heat. And you can also do it manually yourself. And the good stuff about Lifen, even when it's super warm, it's still very protective because this device makes sure if it really overheats, it automatically shuts down. So there's no way you're gonna burn your hair. It doesn't have this kind of brushes on the back like traditional ones. When I used to use this, my hair would get tangled, like literally tangled in this. And when you turn it on, it goes like automatic super heat to your hair. And it would stink and it would burn. I hate it. And we know that heat is the worst thing for your hair. I can't say that traditional is bad, you should never use it. Because obviously salons are using both this one and my hair stylist is using this new one. And the traditional ones, but it's a whole different game when you're doing it yourself and especially if you're clumsy like myself so you know I just use a hairbrush the only tools I skilled with <laughs> and now when it comes to the styling and, and the aesthetics after finishing a traditional one of course if you're skilled you can make it look great but I'm talking from the perspective of someone who needs a dummy course when it comes to hair and it's super compact one of the remedies that I use for my hair every time when I see it's becoming dull or whatever. First, I change my diet because I think it's all coming number one for the diet. But in the same breath, if you're following all of these rules that we all know, if you're still using the bad tools amongst the rules, it actually rhymes. It's like putting all of your hard work in toilet. I use coconut oil and I think any kind of oil is good. You just have to discover what works for you. I tried castor oil, obviously to me it was like too heavy. It's really also important how do you apply that oil. I put oil in the oven before I put on my roots and just on the roots, it's no point to put everywhere. Good morning my friends, so this is how my hair is if I just do it myself. And this morning all I have to do is just a little touch up. Do it like that, just like the ends, you know. This is how hair it's being done. If you want a kind of like bouncy natural hair, you use first like medium warm, then you use warm, and then at the end I use again medium warm, and then I go to the cool one. 
and I love the design and this like kind of like magnet which proved to be safe for my hair and actually really gives me the effect that I always wanted without like making it super warm. You see how much volume it has? Oh my god. Like I feel now like in 70s, you know, these things. I love how the whole culture of 70s, all of that 80s, all that age before I was born, I love it. And as you see, the pressure is so strong. Of course, you know, you, you can go full strength, half strength. The noise, you can barely hear the noise. It's made of aluminum, so it lasts longer. And it's super light, so I take it everywhere with me. I take everything with me. Skincare, hair care, all of that care. I was comparing it with the regular one, and just like by seeing the regular one, it's like a pager and then a smartphone. Do you remember pager? Oh gosh, that was long ago. When I was a kid, my mom used to call my hair spider web. Like, I was like, really spider web? Because it was like so thin and so a lot of it. So there are certain things we are born with, like amazing hair, like, and I'm really not one of them, you know. In the days when I was performing, a lot of times, you know, especially when you're touring and everything, it's like all of that moist, all of that climate change, time zone changes. It really reflects on your hair, on your face and everything. So the good thing I was able to really recover from all of that, simple things like coconut oil, the least amount possible, the least amount of possible products. Like no matter how good they are, it doesn't mean you need to stuff your face or your hair every day. The least the better and try, you know, to have enough vitamins, uh, preferably from coming from the food or supplements. I try to make these healthy shakes because I kind of think every time when I have these enzymes and all of these good stuff coming from actual source from the food instead of the supplements and then i combine them with supplements i have more results than just taking supplements and i'm not a person that's super skilled with the rollers with all of that fancy stuff i always leave that to the professionals simply because you know can do everything but sometimes people need like two seconds to catch up to me i'm like i need like a course for the dummy for that before I even discovered Lifehead, I was not using a hair dryer at all. Like meaning I would just wash my hair and go to sleep, go whatever. And then oftentimes, even though I was warned about Promaya, if you Google Promaya, Promaya, you'll be like, this makes no sense. Well, it might not make sense, but in actuality, I experienced the consequences. I had a pain for three days. I couldn't even move my jaw. It was really painful. Like, guys, Promo exists, okay? Everything you're gonna have in the description box in this video and any additional information, or you're gonna have on my Instagram, like usual. I hope I helped you with some of the ideas or at least inspired you to try new things. Woo, almost <laughs> to drop in the sink.